storage. I'm going to go back to settings, click device preferences, click storage, and you will see with the Mi Cool KM2 that there's only 4.5 gigabytes left of internal storage after all the system operating system and apps have been added. And when you come in here, after I've installed the application that I just did, there's only 3.7 gigabytes left. That is not very much. One great thing about this device is that we can expand the internal storage. And that will also allow us to install applications directly onto a USB drive. So I'm going to take my SanDisk 256 gigabyte USB 3.0 drive and I'm going to insert it into the USB 2.0 port of the KM2. Okay, after inserting that, you're gonna see I've got a message up here. I'm gonna click notifications. Now I'm gonna click the SanDisk USB drive and click setup as device storage. Click format. Now, depending on the size of the USB drive, the larger it is, the longer this formatting will take. I am using a 256 gigabyte drive. You don't need to use one that large. Even a 32 gigabyte drive will make a huge difference. All right, a message just came up and it said it has been formatted. Now it's asking me if I want to move my data to the SanDisk USB drive. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click move now and it says it has been migrated. Okay, I'm gonna go back into settings, device preferences, storage, and now you're going to see the SanDisk USB drive does show up with 241 gigabytes of space. Now, moving forward, anytime we install an application, it should automatically go onto the USB drive. And I'm gonna come back into the settings panel, go into apps, click see all apps. And now I wanna show you how we can move applications onto the USB drive. Now, I purposely installed all these applications prior to expanding my internal storage and I did that on purpose because I personally don't like putting all of my apps on the USB drive. For the applications that I use on a regular basis, I like running those off of the built-in internal storage. It's just gonna provide better performance. Now, for something like this, this does take up a lot of space. This is a game. I'm gonna click that. I don't use this very often, so I'm gonna click this. Click Storage Used, and you will see it's currently residing on my internal shared storage. I'm gonna move down and click SanDisk USB Drive, and you'll see it's now moving this application over to the USB Drive. And if I ever wanted to move it back to the internal storage, we could come right back in here and then click internal shared storage. 